Hey guys, I hope uh, you like this video. This is not um, going to be a typical video in this series, although I think I, I probably should start including this kind of videos in the series as well because it is quite important to raise awareness about... Um, I'm sorry, there's uh, some video in the background. Um, about uh, anti-Semitic propaganda against Israel, especially coming from the Palestinian Palestinian front. Uh, you have the Palestinian authorities spreading a lot of lies and um, sharing a lot of misinformation, and they use celebrities to spread it and a lot of celebrities believe in that propaganda and this is what this series is about is to raise awareness about celebrities that are anti-semitic and celebrities that even if not anti-semitic buy into propaganda and spread it to millions of people that unknowingly will absorb a lot of lies against israel that are um, that are important and so it's important to demystify the lies and mainly to reach the audience of those celebrities that are being subjected to a lot of brainwashing by BDS activists and by propaganda from terrorists so Today, I am going to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. As a Portuguese, I know quite a lot about Cristiano Ronaldo that most people don't know. The man burps, it's on the news. Everything about him is on the news, is in our publicities. He is everywhere here. And I'm you just see, uh, it's about to start with a Christmas commercials here is going to be in every single Christmas commercial you can see. Yes, Portuguese are Christians, so they have uh, a lot of Christian commercials. Anyway, so what I want to talk is how uh, the BDS movement and Islamic websites are spreading lies about Cristiano Ronaldo. No, he is not anti-Semitic, although a lot of Islamic websites and the BDS movement and Palestinian uh, authority and Hamas and all that are spreading a lot of lies to justify their cause and lead unconscious fans of Cristiano Ronaldo to believe in that propaganda. Now you have other football players that totally buy into it. You have the Argentinian fools that uh, buy into a lot of trash, but then again, whatever. Um, so I'm here to Uh, explain what is propaganda and what is not propaganda about Christian Honald and his relationship to Israel and Palestine. First and foremost, there has been for years the claims that Christian Honald refused to support um, the genocide of Palestinians in Israel and so he refused to exchange his shirt with an Israeli player, which is absolutely ridiculous. Everyone here in Portugal knows that the player he refused to exchange church shirts, which, by the way, is an idiot, but that's beside the point, um, is actually a Portuguese player that had exchanged his shirt with an Israeli player, and Cristiano Ronaldo's shirt was already promised to someone. But furthermore, João Moutinho, the Portuguese he refused to exchange his t-shirt with, had exchanged his t-shirt with an Israeli player, so it actually would be rude for him to exchange the t-shirt with the player from the same team. You know, it's a little insulting to the Israeli player that Cristiano Ronaldo would accept swap 
the t-shirt to someone who probably was a fan of Joan Moutin or somehow what admired him and then have his t-shirt exchanged by some someone else's t-shirt it would be I believe a great uh, disappointment but anyway that that's clearing is Cristiano Ronaldo didn't exchange a t-shirt because first the other player was a Portuguese player and second his t-shirt was promised before the game to someone else <laughs> Athena Athena sorry my cat she's adorable anyway so there is another picture in which Cristiano Ronaldo is with and a lot of people that have a Palestine like uh, scarf and you can google it I think it's you can see it easily um, and that scarf uh, he's wearing it just because he's there with people and of course when they go to events if someone puts a scarf on you you wear a scarf or whatever it's not an endorsement of uh, the Palestine uh, view of things and uh, it's just another misconstruction and here come the hoaxes which is the vast majority of the things that are said about him and Palestine now there are several numbers of uh, montages with pictures of him where, for instance, there's one where there was a disaster and he had a message saying, I'm going to try to pronounce Spanish, but I'm Portuguese, so it may come off. That says, Todos con Lorca. And um, they photoshopped it badly, may I, have, may I add. And they put in, Todos con Palestina. Just again. Actually, they said Palestine. They didn't even translate it to Spanish. They said they, they, the, the montage is so bad. They, they wrote Todos con Palestine, something like that. Um, which is a bad montage. Then I have a lot of montage of him taking t-shirts off where uh, they have propaganda, pro-Palestine propaganda. But again, as a Portuguese everyone sees those pictures in every single sports newspaper and you know the original and usually it's a white shirt in uh, underneath or some other message but he has never supported publicly palestine in any any way then comes more allegations saying that he sold uh is uh you know, um, I, I don't know how to say, but it doesn't matter, that he, in order to be able to donate donate to Palestine, he sold something. First, why would he sell any of his trophies or anything to donate when he has so much money? You can see their uh, fantasies. They don't even add up. He has so much money that he doesn't that he doesn't need to sell anything to donate he can just take his credit card and just donate but again these allegations came again from an islamic publication they never came even to the portuguese public which again whenever cristiano ronaldo burps every portuguese knows that he burped that's how much the portuguese press is on his case is he burps the portuguese media knows everything about him so no he did never support publicly palestine and then we have uh, the things that actually contribute to him oh hola uh, to the fact that you know to prove that he doesn't have a political stance of on it or if he has he keeps it private but again more likely than not he doesn't support any either israel or palestine or anything because 
he has uh, actually the BDS movement targeted him because he appeared in Israeli commercials and he uses Israeli products. So again, this is a very far-fetched Athena uh, Linda. This is a very, very far-fetched uh, invention from Hamas and the Palestinian Authority to manipulate his fans to support their terrorist cause. And this is the reason I think I will start include non-anti-Semitic celebrities too or celebrities that do not subscribe to bds and uh, because some are not anti-semitic they're just misguided russell brand if you see my last video you can clearly see that he subscribes to a lot of uh, anti-israel and, and and the blood libel and a lot you know a, a lot of anti-jewish conspiracy theories he is actually anti-semitic but um, Cristiano Ronaldo is not, and a lot of celebrities are not. So I will also include them in this series so that I can explain how the terrorist machine uses them to get to you to support their terrorist actions. And I'm using this to raise awareness that you need to research very well. Don't just trust your news uh, channels that tell you about uh, uh, so and so was killed by IDF, that uh, children are murdered cruelly by IDF. Those are lies. Res research Pollywood, uh, read Arut Sheva, read Israeli Cool, and a lot of good publications. And research hashtag B A L L Y H O O D, and you will see a lot of those videos that you saw on the media in short clips, edited clips to frame IDF uh, of killing innocents. Turns out that it's a montage, it's staged. A lot of the Western media, leftist media, is helping them stage videos and um, leftist NGOs also help them lie about, uh, for instance, Hebron and their inhabitants. So it is important to spread awareness about this. This is why I chose in my second video of this series to talk about Christian Ronald. Because if they can do this to the most famous, well, the most currently playing famous player in the world that has everyone's eyes on him, what will they do to things that are not so reported on? So it is important to understand that Hamas PLO and other terrorist organizations from those Arabs that are not even indigenous to Israel, the Arabs that are indigenous to Israel have Israeli citizenship, and those are the real Palestinians, and in fact, most of them are not even indigenous because they can't come from later migrations. So there's actually more Arabs in Israel now than there were for the last few centuries. So don't fall for their propaganda. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, which is um, I'm going to try to post today. And yeah, um, also, I'm sorry to ask for help, but it is really important. I have a fundraiser and I'm going to post it in the description box and probably here or here. Um, don't ask to ask for anything, but it is important for me now. I'm in a difficult situation, and so if you could help and spread it around, and even if you cannot donate, I would appreciate a donation, but even just spreading it around would help me a lot. Anyway, bye, thank you, and I hope you liked this video. And please, if you see any celebrity 
that is anti-Semitic, that's my priority because I need to help them and their public learn about it. But if you see some of these uh, fake montages claiming that so-and-so is anti-Semitic and supports uh, BDS and whatever without actually supporting, please also warn me about this because it is important to clear the names of these people because this is really upsetting. They're not just lying about Israel, they're lying about Cristiano Ronaldo to his fans. So it's really bad. They are using someone's name to spread terrorism. And so this is what I stand against. And this series is going to try to undo the lies that they spread in the media through celebrities or by appropriating celebrities. Anyway, thank you for watching and please give me a thumbs up and comment and tell me if there's anyone in particular I should talk about. Bye!